Mega Man X7. Hello, everybody. I'm GameStify22, and welcome to Mega Man X7. Now, before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and ask, you guys are probably asking, why are you recording this game again? Well, to start off, the, I ju I'm just not happy with the quality of the game back then, but with the release of Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 and this game being of a much higher resolution, I can re-record it with a whole high, with a better quality. That's just something I want to do personally. And, be and before I start, I do want to get this out of the way. I understand that a lot of you do not like Mega Man X7, nor probably even want this. But just know, I am that extremely rare minority of people who actually like this game. I still play it, I still have fun with it, and I like Mega Man X7. It's one of my favorites. So, we're gonna go ahead and play this game just like I did in my original Let's Play. We're going to do it separately with all three characters. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. This is it. Ready to rock? I'm always ready. What, what the? You wait here. I guess you've heard of Red Alert. Huh? Who's there? It's me, Alus. It was the perfect plan. How did they find out? Not very sharp, are you? What the? You were the traitor? No. I took care of him a second ago. W what happened? How did you do that? Sometime in the 22nd century. Thanks to the Reploids, even the most devastated regions were set back on the road to recovery. But crimes perpetrated by Mavericks were on the rise. The Maverick Hunters was the official organization that responded to incidents involving Mavericks. One of the veteran members, X, began having second thoughts about the group's forceful methods he removed himself from the front lines and instead worked to achieve more peaceful solutions. Why must Reploids fight one another? I've had enough violence. With the Maverick Hunters crippled by X's retirement, an underground organization filled the vacuum. And thus, Red Alert, the illegal band of bounty hunters who pursued Mavericks, was born. Soon, there was not a single Reploid that had not heard of Red Alert and their charismatic leader, Red. One day, a young Reploid and key member of Red Alert made the decision to leave the group. This decision would change destiny itself. 
Goodbye, Red. I'll become a hunter on my own. And thus, a new battle began. All right, everybody, we are back. So, for those of you seeing Mega Man X7 for the first time, I'll go over its uh, its mechanics. First off, we are on hard mode, so enemy, so bosses have more HP and you take more damage from all enemies. This game functions on a 2D and 3D based system. 2D, which is this right here, is going from left to right. There's also an auto lock on, so you don't have to jump and hit things specifically. And this is 3D. With this, you have full control. You have full control over what direction you're going. I don't care what people say, but when I first, I remember when I first saw this game in an X-Play episode back when I was a kid. I thought this was the coolest shit, and I still kind and I still do. I mean, I know a lot of people would definitely disagree with me. Don't touch these sonic wave beams. They hurt a lot and they give you a hell of a knockback. So we're just gonna make our way through here. It's an intro stage, not much to be said. And you can press R2 or right trigger or or ZR in order to change targets. And there we go. All right, moving on. Alright, and now we're playing as Zero. We all know how Zero works. He can double jump. He can air dash. And he has a Z-Saber. In this game, his Z-Saber has the additional property of sending projectiles back when you swing the Saber at it. This does not work with all projectiles, like missiles for example. It's pretty much just with energy blasts that he can deflect back. Here we got a B-Blader. Best way to deal with this is to just be under him and just slash like so. Make sure you stay about like right here. That way when the, when the, I forgot what they're called, they're balls. The ball enemies, when they roll out, they don't touch you. We all love ourselves a good B-Blader. All right, now for this part, we need to destroy more of these uh, ball guys. I keep forgetting their name, I'm sorry. I'll probably edit in what they're actually called. Best thing you do is just pretty much like stand under them when they spawn and slash, and that pretty much takes care of them. A dash, can, a dash slash can work too. shabby and here we have switched to 3d now one little tidbit for the legacy collection too 
is that whenever I'm playing 2D, I use the D-pad, but if I'm playing 3D, I use the control stick. Alrighty. Now, for this beat blader, just kind of stay up in its face and just keep doing your saber slashes. And it gets destroyed relatively quickly. Let's go ahead and get through this. Excuse me. That's another thing I love about the Legacy Collection 2 version of this. Insanely fast load times. Alright, we're through. Out of the way! Out of the way! Huh? Wait a second. Are you stupid? You're in danger if you just stand there. Get a move on! Are you connected to this incident? Incident? What are you talking about? Oh, here it comes. So I'll be seeing ya! What's going on? All right. We can't damage this thing yet. So we just got to avoid it. You can't send its blast back too. You've got some explaining to do. Okay. I'll tell you everything, but later! Right now, I have to take care of that freak! You're Zero, so you can handle this, right? I'm Axel. Call me if you need a hand. <sighs> this has become a real pain. I want a full explanation when this is all over! All right, now we're fighting the giant scorpion. First thing you're gonna do is you wanna use either L2, left trigger, or ZL in order to swap to Axel. And the first thing you wanna do is destroy its claw, and then get up on the wall and then swap targets. Ow. And swap targets to its tail, because we need to destroy that tail. All right. So one thing you can do with Axel, if you if you press the dash button again while dashing, you'll end up doing a you'll end up doing a dodge roll. And the thing about Axel's dodge roll is that he's immune to all forms of damage while he's doing it. And there's another quirk to it, one that I never knew in all my years of playing this game. You can actually fire. I mean, you can you can fire while dashing, I assume. Yeah, you can. But you can also fire while you're dodge rolling. And Axel is able to shoot and shoot at any locked enemy, no matter what direction they are, if he's dodge rolling. Like so, I, you can kind of see it. I mean, this isn't the best thing, but in all my years of playing, I never knew about this until I watched a speed run of this game. But that's it. We did it. I'm not gonna run off. So could you take this thing off? It makes me feel like a criminal. Feel like a criminal? Um, okay, maybe what I did was wrong, but, like, we were a perfect team, don't you think? When we kicked that big dude's butt, I thought, yeah, we would make a great combo. So, where's x been lately? I haven't seen him around. Sit tight, he's just beyond this door. Here he is. Nice work, Zero. 
So, you're the one who caused all this trouble. I guess so. I had no idea they'd send that kind of gear after us. Here? Who's after you? I left Red Alert. Believe it or not, I'm a hunter. Red Alert? You mean that gang of wannabe vigilantes? Do you realize how much damage your internal bickering has caused? I apologize for that, but I had to leave. As for what happened as a result, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes? Do you have any idea? Ex cooler. All right, Axel. Why don't you start by telling us why you left? Red Alert changed. They're no better than murderers now. They used me. We used to only attack the bad guys, but not anymore. I couldn't take it. They're going to come for Axel, no doubt. This is our chance. Red Alert has caused us far too much trouble. How can you say that? If we fight, we'll fall right into their hands. We can't allow this madness to continue. I know what you mean, X. But we can't talk them out of this. Sometimes fighting is the only choice. That's quite enough. You need to back off and pay the dues for your crimes. Alia, what happened? Unidentified transmission. Feeding to monitor. You getting this, hunters? I'm Red, leader of your friends here at Red Alert. I never imagined our little friend would end up in your hands. But in any case, I want Axel back. Now, don't you worry. I know he won't come back easily. So how about this? Like you, we're hunters. We've trashed our share of Mavericks. So how about a duel? A duel to determine who the real Maverick Hunters are. I'm sure you won't mind if we use the Mavericks that we've captured so far. So the last one standing wins. If we lose, we'll surrender Axel to you. And if we win, got to be kidding. Axel has nothing to do with us. We won't fight the likes of you for his sake. Well, pretty big talker for a retiree. We could care less about deadbeats like you. We just want Axel. He is there, isn't he? Now, you just sit tight, my boy. <laughs> They're already on the move. Mavericks are showing up across the map. I'll check for damage. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Well, this is turning into a real mess. X, you said I need to pay my dues, right? So make me a Maverick Hunter. Me and Zero make a great team. And together, we could take care of Red Alert. Are you mad? You have no business as a hunter. I'm serious. It would be a perfect chance to make up for my wrongdoing. If you had just gone back, the problem would have been solved. But I can see that won't be happening. Right. These aren't run-of-the-mill criminals. They won't listen to reason. And even if Axel did go back, which he won't, would they stop their misdeeds? I don't think so. Zero, you're my hero. Hey, I knew you'd understand. I always thought you and X were so cool. I want to fight. I want to be a maverick hunter. Not just anybody can become a hunter, kid. We're not getting anywhere with this. I'm ready to go. No, wait. I'm going by myself. As for you, you can do as you Yeah. X, 
Alex. If I catch all the bounty hunters, you've got to promise me you'll let me be a maverick hunter. The talk is cheap. Prove it to me first. And don't forget this. Okay, I won't let you down. Another pointless conflict has begun. X, don't overthink this. This time, our only choice is to fight. We've made this mistake time and time again. Why must Reploids continue this accursed cycle of aggression? Now, I do want to say yes. I would like to apologize for the voice acting. I mean, it's starting to feel more cringy as the years... I mean, it just doesn't age well. Let's be fair, it doesn't. Now I'm gonna save. Now, here's the thing. I was thinking about playing the Japanese version, but then again, none of you guys would pretty much really understand what would be happening on screen. And even if I did change the in-game language to Japanese, it only changes the cutscene dialogue. It doesn't change the actual in-game gameplay dialogue. So that really wouldn't change much either. So I just hope you guys can tolerate it at least. And with this, we have our eight Mavericks. And that's going to be it for the first video. So I hope you guys are looking forward to this, or maybe you're not looking forward to it. But I will see you guys on the next video. Till then, see you then.